so we got a call for a couple of vehicles and trailers that are stuck uh, near Bullfrog on Lake, on the mighty Lake Powell. It's not so mighty right now. It's really low and that's why they're stuck. Yeah, that's true. So we're heading out there, but we're not in blue steel. No. This is a good looking load. So Rudy got a fancy new pickup and he's excited to tow something with it finally. So Rudy's testing out his new truck. We got the more of air back there on the trailer. It's gonna be nice. We might need this rig as an anchor for it when it's pulling too. So nice. Hey, it's a nice day out. It's about 80 degrees, but it'll get up to 95 today. So it's about six and a half hour drive to where we're headed. So we're going to get back after dark. I'm guessing. <sighs> so if you're wondering what it's like to travel with this crew, Rudy's pretty good at keeping conversation going. Trevor's passable. Lizzie's no good. That's what it's like. All right, I figure it's time for an update. So we've been driving for four hours. We're still like an hour and a half out. An hour and 40 minutes. We're still an hour and 40 minutes out. Isn't that like an hour and a half? It's just like when only 10 minutes difference. Anyway, the last time we stopped was back in Cedar City, which was like 40 minutes from our shop. We're gonna see who can hold out the longest till we have to stop. So far, I think Trevor's losing. He's I dead tap out. Trevor's, Trevor's done. Trevor tapped out. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? And Lizzie's been out most of the time. How are you doing, Lizzie? Yeah, I've been sleeping. It's been great. Man, this is crazy. This is a part of Utah that I don't get to very often. In fact, if I've been through here, it was when I was too little to remember. But this is amazing. Gage, tell you how many seconds? You messed up my counting really bad. <laughs> so here's the problem with this gauge. It naturally sits like this, not facing me because of the curve in this. Mm. So. Eight pounds in the rear. And we'll start there. That's 15 seconds of air. I think we can just go frontwards. I don't think we're gonna even need the winch. We need to hook him up. Yeah. So we'll get we'll get him out and then back him up. Let's go. We'll go. Look. There we go. Rescue's arrived! <laughs> What's your daughter's I'm name? So glad to see you, Coda. Coda. A girl. Hey, Coda. I was happy you guys are here. <laughs> and answer my prayer. <laughs> this one comes out. All oh, right, we got a receiver. Yep. Okay. I that off. Well, let's get this one out first. Okay, wow. Okay, Lizzie. See if you can turn all the way to the right. Okay, that's good. So when they say always take the Oh road, man. This is a great example of what happened. Look at that. It's all yeah. Marched up. Say always take the high road. This is a great example of what happens when you don't take the high road. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's awesome you guys came so far. I uh, I mean we were stuck here for two days and did all the digging I could think of, the rocks. We tried trying to jack up the wheel and put something under it and jack up again. Wow. And we just worked for three days. And finally this morning, I, I literally just called 911. So I was like, I don't even know who to call. I don't have service, I don't have internet. And so the National Park Service 
uh, gave me like five or six guys to call and every guy I called that said, oh yeah, we won't, we won't come out there. We won't do that. Like we'll, we just get stuck ourselves. And you guys weren't even on the list that they gave us, but my sister-in-law was able to hike up to get some service and saw off-road recovery and you're here. So it's awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. And then just help just a little help, help the right amount. You gotta get your pickup. Oh, it's gonna be the yeah, tricky one. <laughs> and the trailer. Yeah. But luckily, if you can pull the trailer out, I think it won't be that bad. Yeah. I think that this is definitely Yeah, you've got the hooks and everything exposed. Yeah. The rope's over here, Lizzie. Yeah, this one, the quicksand is a lot deeper. You can see the tire tracks I was following thinking I'd be all right. I should have looked over there and noticed those ones were a little deeper. Take your foot off the brake really slowly. Keep going. Man, I can't. There you go. That's the one we wanted. You're just going to drive it up there and just gently curve it to the left. With the trailer and everything? Yep. And just get it on higher ground. Now we're headed out. We're gonna go home a different way than we came. I forgot about the Burr Trail. It's quite a shortcut, and we're gonna to get to drive on Highway 12, which is one of the most scenic highways in the, in the United States. So that's what we're gonna go do. And we gotta get some dinner somewhere. All right, so for some reason, I thought the Burr Trail was paved all the way across it, but it's not. This road is just getting more and more primitive and we just passed a sign that said 42 miles to Boulder. <laughs> yeah, 42 miles on this road is, is gonna be long unless it gets paved soon. Yeah. But it's not looking good. Oh, this is amazing. We're gonna drive straight up the side of that mountain. Can you see that? There's the road up there. It's zigging and zagging. That is a nasty switchback. This is called the Burr Trail Switchbacks. Oh yeah.
Okay, we've got an update here. We are, we've been on the bird trail for a bit, so it's paved on one end and the other end, but not in the middle. That's right. That's right. And we're on the paved, the second paved end now. Yeah. That's exciting. Well, that's just another update. So we didn't die in the desert. Looks like we're gonna make it to civilization. All right, we have made it to Boulder. So that means we're one step closer to getting some dinner in our bellies. And that's exciting to me. So this is a narrow, narrow little pass right here. Oh my wow. gosh. Yeah, look at that. There's no guardrails. It's exactly wide enough for this road. Holy smokes. And we are way up here. And it's raining. Yeah, and it's raining. <laughs> we are finally here in Escalante and we are at the Fourth West Pub right there. Okay, we're gonna eat in this eatery. Oh. Yeah, no kidding. So I think they thought that Lizzie's food was an appetizer instead of her meal, so she got it like right away. What's the advantage of that, Lizzie? Because I am a super slow eater. So good thing I got my food first so I can actually be done eating by the time everybody else is done. Yeah, you're pretending like you thought of that. You noticed that. Don't you remember you told me you love me, baby? It's been a long day. We've it's over driving, 12 hours. Yeah, driving 12 hours. Anyway, we got there, we got him out. It wasn't a very big job really for three. To them it was big. Yeah, it was a big deal to them, yeah. So we got that done and thanks for watching.